Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So in this video, uh, we'll be discussing uh, another problem related to linked list. So this is a video series. Like if you are new to this channel or this video series, so this is a list of problems that we are solving. So we have a new crash course on on uh, lead code. It's a paid course, but what we are doing is we have selected all the problems and we'll be solving it uh, together. Uh, one or two problems daily. Uh, also, apart from these problems, I'll be adding some more problems so that. Uh, we are good to go. Uh, things are covered briefly here. It's a crash course. But again, uh, whatever questions uh, are needed to understand more concepts, I'll be adding that by time to time, right? I've already added it. Uh, I'll be coming up with those videos. So yeah, in the last video, we'll discuss that how to reverse a linked list. Uh, that was a very trivial problem. But the main motive was to understand the concept and not mug up the code, right? That was the main thing. So uh, why I have added this problem in this video is because the, we discussed that particular code snippet, right? How that works and why that works and what is the intuition behind it. Now we will be using that and we'll be seeing its application in this code, right? So that's the main motive. So th this the second problem, it, it says that reverse linked list two. So given the head of a single linked list and two integers left and right, where left is less than equal to right, reverse the nodes of the list from position left to position right and return the reverse linked list, right? So in the, in, in the previous problem, we were reversing the whole list in this we are reversing a part of list right so that's uh, that is basically what the problem is saying so let me write it so let's say my list is this three four and five right this is my list uh, and if suppose i have a position from two to four so it's the indexing is from one so one two three four five so if i say that left equals to two and right equals to four. So that means pick up this node, pick up this node, reverse it. So now what will happen? One will point to four, four will point to three, three will point to two, two will point to five. This will be my new list, right? Now, if you haven't watched the previous video where we discussed in detail how to reverse a linked list, uh, please do watch that video. Uh, it is part of the same playlist, right? Uh, if you, I'll, I'll mention that into the comments as well, uh, just for simplicity, okay? Now, now we discussed that how we uh, how re how we reverse a linked list i'll tell you briefly just i'll tell you just briefly so we take a temp list we take a temp list we have an original list suppose we have a list of one two three four something like this so we take a temp list and somehow what we do initially it points to null right and we represent it by suppose previous by a name right so what we do we make one point to null right and this becomes our new previous this link is broken and this becomes a new current right now what what happens this becomes one slash null and this list become two three and four this is my current this is my previous now what happens two points to one this becomes my new previous this becomes my new current and so on right we have I've discussed the code in detail now here what we were doing we were passing the whole list right we were passing the whole list however in this problem what we need to do uh, that if this is my list or let me just use the same diagram to save time if this is my list what i can do if my left is two right if my left is two so all i need to do is i need to traverse my list so to find this link to find this node right so if left equals to two so I need to traverse just one node. I need to traverse left minus one nodes because I need a reference. I, I need this pointer basically so that I can point to this node, right? This is the start of my list, right? Now, what is the second thing I need to do? I also have a right, right? So I traverse these number of nodes that is four. So one, two, three, four, right? I also have a, I also get a uh, basically link to this node. So that means I have a link to the leftmost node. I have a link to the rightmost node. So what I'll do, I'll just pass it to my function, right? I'll just pass it to my function that this is the start. This is the end. So in, in, in the basic code, in the, in the uh, normal basic stuff, what you do, you check while your current is not equal to null, you keep on doing these operations that we discussed. However, in that case, what will happen? We will check that while my current has not reached the end of the node, right? While it has not reached to the end of the node, what is the end of the node? This is the end of the node, right? If it has not reached the end of the node, then do this stuff, right? So this is what we will be doing. And once we have that sublist reversed, 
then what what we will do suppose i get the sublist reverse right so now i was already having a link to this one so suppose this was a t1 so what i passed in my function my function in my function i passed t1 dot next so this was passed right and what about this one uh, i can keep a link to this node it is t2 right so simple stuff once your list is reversed what you do you make t1 dot next equals to new head what is the new head which you get after reversal right and the last node that you get in your list right the last node whichever you get in your list so basically that will be doing something like this so last node so last node dot next equals to t2 this is t2 right basic stuff this is what we'll be doing and then our list will be reversed right let's directly jump into the explanation part so my code starts from line number 27 so if uh, my list is empty or it has just one node right or left is equals equals right that means you just need to reverse one node that means you don't need to reverse it right so you return the head right now on line number 13 i have taken a dummy node um, um uh, dummy dot next basically points to head so this is a technique it makes your code easier so you have a head node right you can take a dummy node which points to head because there you uh, you will be saved by doing some extra null checks and also but we will be learning that in, in the upcoming videos as well uh, by doing more and more examples right on line number 32 mm, start points to dummy and then what i am doing Till left minus one i am doing start equals to start dot next again traversing left minus one nodes right now start pointer start pointer is uh you see start dot next right what i said that i reach this node in this case one and i pass uh, one dot next as the start pointer and now end node is dummy right now what i do i do i equals to zero i less than right and equals to end dot next that means I'm again starting from the starting of the list and I'm moving a right number of nodes. So I have the end pointer as well. I just see on line number 43, I'm passing start pointer and end pointer, right? Let's move to this function. This function is exactly the same way which I've been discussing for past couple of videos. So how to reverse a linked list? So this is like while previous is not equal to end, in general cases, it is equals to null. That, 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 that case equals to null. So here temp equals to curl dot next and a bunch of other stuff and then you return the previous that means start of the node right you do that now once you have it once you reverse it then what will happen the start dot next equals to end now end was the last node in your list now that has become the first node in your list and start pointer dot next equals to end pointer right you saved these things right on line number 36 you can see and then finally you return dummy dot next simple whatever i have explained to you in the diagram so exactly the same thing and then we are good to go right so yeah i hope you learned something new from this video do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel in case you have any queries do mention that onto the comments i'll i'll revert on each one of them okay take care bye bye